In this episode, we are going to talk about my finished project, which is my fairy lily sweater, the socks that I'm currently knitting, the hat that I'm re-knitting, and a fun new project. Let's get started. Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mariet, also known as Die Boerfrau, and this is episode 61 of the Crafty Stitches podcast. Today that I am recording this is Thursday the 18th of April 2024 and I'm coming to you from South Africa. Alright, so welcome to this episode. I'm so happy that you could join me. I hope you have something to drink while we chat about all of these projects that I'm currently knitting on. And let's jump straight in with this finished project, which is my Fairy Lily sweater. Right, first project of the podcast is my finished project. I knit this sweater with Biana Yarns Sock Yarn which is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon blend and it has 366 meters on 100 grams and this color is the colorway Victoria. So I love my sweater. I finished it about three days ago and I had to wet block part of the sleeve because I actually finished it to be a three-quarter sleeve and then I ripped back the ribbing and I finished the complete sleeve. So both sleeves are complete and then I just washed and blocked that piece because the rest of the garment was blocked. So I took a picture of the three-quarter sleeve length option and I will pop it here on the screen so that you can see what that looks like. I love this sweater. I think the picture is stunning. I love the three-quarter length as well, um, but I have finished this one to be long-sleeved. I love it. This is just gorgeous. I love the way the lace is looking and after it's been blocked you can properly see the little strips that I envisioned as little pathways in between flower beds and then the lace that is the fairy lily motif. Little flowers in between. I love it. So I've also repeated that on the sleeve. Little strip flowers and another strip. I hope that that was <laughs> visible with a nice long ribbing. This thing is gorgeous. The light is not the best. The light is not the best on the garment while I have it on here in the podcast, but I love it. Like this, it looks completely fine to me <laughs> in the viewfinder. So yes, this project was knit on 4.5 millimeter needles, except for the rubbing at the cuffs and at the hem. Um, the top rubbing is also knit in the 4.5 millimeter needles. And yes, it's a new design that I have made. And I will talk about the rest of this project in the new section I've written some notes <laughs> so yes very happy about the first project and as you can see i'm already wearing it today because it is a little bit chilly it might get too hot sometime during the day but for now i'm wearing it and loving it right let's get into works in progress and talk about my whoops First work in progress for today is the 
socks for Anton, my husband, that I'm still knitting on. I am using Opal Yarns for his sock. And this is the yarn label. And this is the colorway information. And let's see the socks. So the first sock is finished. It's been finished for a while. And I worked a little bit on the second sock. So in the previous episode, I was at this little marker here from Annegret from Pincushion Crafts. And I just knit that little bit. I just want to move the marker quickly. Okay. These socks are knit with my own pattern, the DB Toe Up socks. And as you can see, it is knit from the toe up. It has a heel flap heel turn and a gusset even though it is knit from the toe up but that is what I love so that is the socks and I'm knitting a 72 stitch sock on DPNs double pointed needles and these this is knit pro smart sticks DPNs and they are 2.25 millimeter thick. And I think they are 14 centimeters long. Because you get a 20 centimeter one uh, set as well from Knitpro. But anyway, that is what I am using for these. I picked them up last night again a little bit. And remembered why I love knitting socks. So, yes, but I had a plan in the previous episode. I said I want to first finish this sweater and I want to finish the hat first and then I'll finish the socks. But I had to work on them a little bit. I couldn't just let them be. They will get sad being left in the bag and not getting worked on. I think that is everything that I needed to say for the socks. So that is work in progress number one. And then, work in progress number two is the 1898 hat that I'm currently also knitting for Anton, my husband. And I'm using this yarn that I was gifted. And if you have been here for a while, you would know that in the previous episode, I had said that the hat is way too big. And that I had to start over. So I was going to rip back. And then I decided I have another ball. Let's just start with a new ball. Instead of ripping out washing yarn. So I have not ripped out the first one yet. But anyway. So. I'm using this beautiful grey colour for this hat. And this is the one that is too big, still intact. And then I cast on a second one to try and make it at the right size. So I've knit quite a bit on this one. I started exactly as the pattern suggested and I stick I stuck to the amount of rows in the pattern with 4.5 millimeter needles so I did a provisional cast on I did a different one this time and then I knit I think up to here so I finished the back piece the first ear flap and the whole front until I had to start with the second ear flap. And then I put it on barber cords and I washed and blocked it first. And then I found out that between the two ear flaps, I would need a 
about two centimeters more more or less of fabric so I knit four rows I think four rows I think it's four let me just check I knit four rows more and then I started the second ear flap so until here is blocked and this part has not been blocked yet so what I thought I will do is I'm going to finish this part until I get to the same place where I need to graft the ends together and then I will wash and block it again before grafting <laughs> and make sure it fits around his head and then if it fits i'll graft and i'll pick up stitches for the body part of the hat so yes very happy with that let me add a marker i actually took one out for this purpose there it is. and just mark the progress i will add a piece of scrap yarn before I block it so I'm just adding this little marker from Annegret from Pincushion Crafts very very pretty marker so that will keep the progress that I remember where I was in the next episode so yes very happy with the progress so far it seems that my relaxed gauge is still still working here so yes that is what I have left of the first ball and then when I get this to fit um, after it's been blocked I will take out the first one and wash the yarn and use it for the top part before I go into the third ball of yarn I don't think that's necessary alrighty so that is my hat project very happy about that whoops it is hitting the glass here with the needles <laughs> all right now on to the third project which is a new project and technically it's not the project yet it's just a gauge swatch let's say a gauge and technique swatch I am using some Naughty Habit Kaiso Combo Sock Yarn this is the label And that is the colorway information. I hope that is all visible. So it's also a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon blend, and it also has 366 meters on 100 grams. So the sock set is a 100 gram hank and a 25 gram mini i actually got this set as a gift for my birthday and i i got it and i was like i need to cast this on i want to make something with it and then i was like no 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 no, no. put it aside draw a picture of what you want to make and when you get to it you get to it <laughs> so I have the picture up all the information that I needed because I did it on the day I could not wait and this morning I caked up the yarn and I started my swatch I have to say that I also cannot get a picture of this blue to be true to color so I don't know that it will be true to color on screen but this is the yarn definitely not true to color this blue is more of a it's more of a 
little bit lighter royal blue but it's not it looks more saturated in the viewfinder i'm not sure why but anyway so this is the main color oh so pretty and then the blue mini right i was in such a hurry this morning i didn't even look for yarn cake cozies or anything i was just like cake up the yarn and let's go <laughs> so i will have to do that in a bit so this is my swatch so far i'm knitting my little swatch on four millimeter needles us six needles and this is what i have so far i don't know if you'll be able to see So I'm trying to make a cowl in a new technique that I've not used before. So it is quite fun. It's a lot of fun. And yes, we will see if my, what I think it should look like come out as it should. Because as I said, I've not used this technique before, but I'm, testing out what it will look like as well as some techniques and to see how big it will be before blocking and after blocking so it's all a lot of fun <laughs> i'm enjoying it a lot and i'm loving these colors it is just absolutely my colors so stunning I am not going to say a lot more about this project, but all I can say is I'm loving it and I think it's going to be beautiful. Very happy that I could eventually <laughs> cast on this project or start the swatch. Now I remember that in the previous episode I said I want to finish the hat first, but I thought let me start on this project as well so that I can see what my gauge is and do some calculations and write up this pattern because I'm super excited about it. All right, that is it for all of the projects that I'm currently working on. So let's move over to find out what's been happening. I made some notes because I'm afraid I might forget something. So first up is that my fairy lily sweater is now finished and I am super happy with the end result. Um, this pattern was designed in collaboration with Biana Yarns. So for the first six months, this pattern can only be purchased by purchasing a yarn kit which will be sold from my website so i'll put together kits for all of the sizes and then on the 1st of may 2024 the kits will go on pre-order so i think it will be open for six days until the 6th of may and then we will start dyeing yarn and getting the parcels out to you so i'm gonna try to get the parcels out in 14 days after the pre-order has closed so we will see if I get that right but that is my goal I'm gonna try my best and we will see how that goes so the pre-orders there will be more than one pre-order during the six months so if you maybe miss the first one don't worry there will be more I just want to see exactly how it goes and then I will plan the next ones after that right what else is there that I needed to say so after the six months is finished in November you will be able to purchase the pattern as a standalone pattern 
but I will keep you posted on all of these things in the next few podcasts so that you know what is going on. So that is that for the pattern. So more exciting news is that on the 27th of April, it is local yarn shop day and Piana Yarns and Wollen Flas is going to Little Yarncroft. So Piana Yarns will have a little pop-up shop at Little Yarncroft and I decided that I'm going to join in the fun and I'm also going. <laughs> so if you are near and if you are able to, please come and say hi. I would love to meet you and I would love to see you. I haven't been at a yarn um, meet up in quite a while. I think the previous time I went was in for the Johannesburg Stukmark in 2023 in November. So it is time. I need to go to a yarn event. So I'll be there and please come say hi. I would love, love to see or meet you. The other thing that happened this month is I found a hole in one of my husband's socks. So I've been knitting socks since 2020. I think in May I started knitting socks. And he has been wearing these socks every day for the past three and a half years. And he only wears hand knit socks and every day summer winter doesn't matter he wears his hand knit socks so i think that this socks have kept up very well and upon better inspection i realized that these socks did not wear through so this is the socks they do not look their best anymore and all of these Naku Boho yarns that I bought in the beginning of my sock knitting journey, for some reason, I don't hand wash them. I wash, hand wash all the rest, but not these. So I bought a bunch of them on a end of stock sale or something, and I made these, these socks. And they get washed in the washing machine with biological detergent and stay soft. But, so I thought... When I took these out and I saw a hole, I thought it has worked through. But the funny thing is that the hole is not on the heel. The hole is higher than the heel on the leg right there. So I thought maybe it just rubbed through. But upon close inspection I saw that this strand of yarn was burnt off I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera but I'm gonna try so these socks are still in very good condition I don't see any other holes. It is getting a little bit thin at the back where the heel, at the top of the heel where it rubs quite a bit. But these socks are still in a very good condition in my opinion. So I suspect that this little hole was made by grinding or welding. Because it seems like the perfect space on top of where the boot ends for a little bit of a hot piece of iron to have just melted through that, that hole. So I'm going to fix this pair of socks and then we shall see how long it lasts until it actually rubs through somewhere. <laughs> um, I am not at all mad about... Um, it getting a hole in by burning i mean i make these socks for working and wearing so it happened i'm actually surprised that this is the first hole that's been made by welding or grinding since august 2020 because that is what he does a lot and it has lasted so long very
very happy with that. So that is the update on holes in the socks. <laughs> if you needed an update on that, I gave you one. And that is everything that I have to share today. That is everything that I have for this episode. Please let me know in the comments down below what you are currently working on. I love to chat to you about the projects that is on your needles. So I would love if you share that with me. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, I hope that you enjoyed this episode and that you will consider sticking around by subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see any more of my content. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.